So I'm sorry I'm jumping around. It's Friday. I was up a little late reading my book and watching some football. And so I'm going to get to that now. Now, I was the first one to chime in. So in addition to my new favorite couple, which is Megyn Kelly and Doug Brunt, my favorite celebrity couple has always been Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos. They have always seemed to have figured it out. They are seem very much madly in love still. They've been together for 20, 25 years, something like that. They have three kids. They met when they were both working on All My Children. And he doesn't seem to have an issue with the fact that she has a much more um, in-the-spotlight job, which I think a lot of men would have some sort of inkling of an issue with. Well, just leave it at that. So... I asked you who your favorite was, and some of the answers I got. Marianne said John Travolta and Kelly Preston. Mm, um, all right. Joe said, and he's not the only one, Joe and Mina both said Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell. Yes, they are adorable, and they seem to really get along well as well. Now, Jim says, I agree with Joe on Dax and Kristen, although I have to say my favorite celebrity couple is Wendy and Joe, meaning me and my husband, which I think is very funny because Joe said the same thing. He goes, should I, put, should I put the two of us up there? All just in kidding, of course. So, and then lastly, we got from Kathy, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Yes, I love them. They're so cool. So there are some of your favorite celebrity couples um, I thought about maybe saying Miley Cyrus and Liam, um, why do I want to say Liam Neeson? I know that's not his last name. Liam Hemsworth. Oh, thank goodness. My brain. Oh my goodness. I've got Friday brain. So back to my blog post. I put up a, a quote from Oprah that says, gossip reflects the insecurities of those who initiate it. Yes, we all love a little gossip here and there, but why do we feel the need to do it at the expense of our own friends? Now, I have found that in a group of girls, there is always something being said about the one girl who isn't in the group at the time. Maybe I just have a bad group. I don't know. It seems to be the case with most of the groups I've had throughout my life. Now, I find that this is more of an issue with women than it is with men. I'm not being a sexist or anything like that. You know me. I'm very pro-woman. I'm very pro-equal rights. But I call it like I see it, too. And women, a little more catty and gossipy than the men. Don't get me wrong. Men love to gossip, too. Some, of, some men, I know, gossip worse than women. But it seems to be more of a women issue, in my opinion. Now, I love to gossip as much as the next person. But it's really just so unhealthy and really kind of mean. So why don't we save our gossip for the celebrities? They're used to it. When it happens in everyday life, it can be really cruel. I used to work with a group at one time that was, gosh, they were just such gossip hounds. It verged on toxic. This group talked so much crap about everyone in the office. It made me so uneasy because I knew the minute I walked out of the room, they were talking about me. Now, I tried to make myself feel better by reasoning that I wasn't special. They talked crap about everyone. But it really took a toll on me. It was brutal trying to figure out what they were gossiping about every time I left the room. Why this is so entertaining to other people, I don't know. Why do we feel the need to do it? I know it's more of an issue with their own insecurity, but that doesn't make you feel better in the moment when you walk into a room and everyone immediately stops talking. So you know right away, oh, well, they must have been talking about me. Now, as someone who's always worried too much about what other people think, this has been a big issue for me. I've always struggled with my own self-worth, so I guess this is why it's always hit me so hard. Now, don't get me wrong. I have been guilty of gossiping, like I said, but I'm not proud of that. You know, these people are supposed to be your friends, so why do we feel the need to drag them down? It's awful, really. I've certainly had my fair share of people gossiping about me, and I've tried to just brush it off and not worry about it. I sometimes think I should just remove myself from certain groups, but like I said earlier, it seems to be everywhere. So I just do what I do now and try not to let it get to me, you know. It's been a long time coming. But this is where you can set a good example. Don't 
be one of those women. When you get tempted to make a remark about someone, stop yourself. Realize you're better than that. Now, if you want to say it about a stranger walking down the street, that's fine. (laughs) It's not really fine, but you know what I mean. There is no reason to tear down other people. You certainly don't need that to make you feel make yourself feel better about your life. You have a great life. This I know for sure. One filled with inspiration and positivity, and this negative BS will only bring you down. Don't stoop to that level. Go out and be the one that people want to emulate. Emulate. So it is finally Cocktail Friday. Whoo! Yes, we made it. Get ready to grab that cold adult beverage because it's Miller time. Try to spread some kindness this weekend. Whatever you are doing, I hope it is fantastic. And don't spread any nastiness. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe in what you do and make it your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hope List, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefullist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist.